Welcome back guys and you may remember that we're in the mine entrance here in Zork. We've just picked up a figurine from a room with a large vampire bat. We're now heading east and we're in the shaft room in which there is a small shaft descending through the floor into darkness below. There's also a metal framework to which a heavy iron chain is attached with a basket at the end of the chain. So what we're going to do here in the shaft room is put the torch and the screwdriver into the basket. Now this is a fairly complicated part or puzzle in the game but I'll explain this as we go through and the reasons that we do these various steps. Now the reason that we put the torch into the basket for the time being is because we're about to head to a particular room that is filled with gas and if you take the torch or any object with an open flame into that room it will explode the gas killing you instantly which we don't want to happen. So we've headed north now we're in a dark place so we don't want to be eaten by a Gru and we'll turn on the lantern that we've kept in our inventory and uh, you can see that we're in a smelly room with a foul odor uh, coming from the direction of a staircase. So we'll go down and this is the gas room, a small room which smells strongly of coal gas. There's a short climb up some stairs and a narrow tunnel leading east, but there is also a sapphire encrusted bracelet here. So we'll get the bracelet, add that to our treasures, and uh, then we will head on to uh, the next part of the map, which is east to the coal mine and this is once again the uh, uh, a maze that we have to navigate so we'll head north east and then southeast southwest from this point and then we'll head down and we're at the top of a ladder so uh, what we're going to do here is head down the ladder to the bottom of the ladder and from the bottom of the ladder we'll head south. We've reached a dead end in the mine but there is a small pile of coal here being a coal mine but we will get the coal because it's important for uh, something we'll be doing shortly. Once we've uh, taken the coal we'll be heading north and then up the ladder and up again and we're back in the coal mine so we'll head north back through this maze east south and north and we're back in the gas room so we're heading up from here to the smelly room and then south to the shaft room. So we, here we have the basket with our screwdriver and torch already inside and we're going to be putting the coal into the basket as well. Okay so once you have the screwdriver, the torch and the coal in the basket what you're going to want to do is lower the basket down the shaft with those items inside. And we'll be using these items very, very shortly. Okay, so the basket is lowered to the bottom of the shaft. Now where we want to go is the bottom of the ladder. So we'll head back there, which is north through the smelly room down to the gas room and then east into the coal mine maze and uh, then we'll be navigating through this maze by heading north east south east south west and uh, then we'll be going down and down again and we're at the bottom of the ladder. Now at this point we're carrying a lot of items in our inventory but uh, if you look here we're in a timber room which is a uh, long narrow passage with uh, broken timbers 
And uh, importantly here, there's a very narrow passageway to the west end of the room. And there is a strong draft coming from that area. Now you may notice if we go west to try and get through that narrow passage, we can't fit through with the load that we're carrying. So what you want to do is drop all. So you will drop all your treasures here, don't worry, we'll be coming back for them. And then you can head west and you'll successfully get through that narrow passage into the drafty room. So what you can see here is the basket. This is the bottom of the shaft where we've dropped the basket with the coal, screwdriver and the torch as well, which is providing light. So what we're going to do is get the torch and the screwdriver and the coal out of the basket. Now you can't just type in get all unfortunately because they are in an object. It won't allow you to do that. You need to type it, type it in uh, the long way. I forgot the end there, whoops. <laughs> It'd be good if you could attach a proper keyboard to this thing. It's a little bit fiddly using the Xbox controller to uh, navigate the keyboard. So there we go, we've taken the torch, the coal, the screwdriver, it's all good. We're heading south now and we are in the machine room. This is a large cold room whose sole exit is to the north. In one corner there is a machine which is reminiscent of a clothes dryer. On its face is a switch which is labelled start. The switch does not appear to be manipulable by any human hand. On the front of the machine is a large lid which is closed. So let's open the lid. And once the lid is open, we will put coal in machine. Now once the coal is in the machine, what we're going to do is close the lid. Alright, so we're pretty much ready to go. We've got the coal in the machine, the lid's closed. What we're going to do now is turn on the machine. So you need to uh, type in turn switch with screwdriver. The machine comes to life, figuratively, with a dazzling display of coloured lights and bizarre noises. After a few moments, the excitement abates. Okay, so the next step is to open the lid and see what's inside. The lid opens, revealing a huge diamond. Alright, so we'll get the diamond and add that to our rapidly growing list of treasures. No magic! In this particular part of the game, just good old science, compressing coal into diamonds. Uh, of course, it's pseudoscience, but science nonetheless. Alright, so let's move on, and what we're going to do is drop all the stuff that we no longer need. So we're dropping the screwdriver. And uh, let's get out of this machine room and head north. So we're at the bottom of the basket here, or the bottom of the shaft where the basket is. And what we're going to do so that we can get out of this uh, room through the narrow passage, we're going to have to put the diamond into the basket. And along with the diamond, we'll also put the uh, torch. So once we've lightened our load by doing that, what we're going to do is raise the basket so that we'll be able to collect our diamond up top.
and uh, we'll be able to exit through the narrow passageway and uh, we'll do that by heading east so this is where we dropped all of our treasures from before along with the lantern so we'll pick up all that stuff uh, except for the broken timber which is useless we don't want that Okay, so we've got all our treasure back now, and we can, can head back up to the top of the shaft. So we'll head, to, head east to the ladder, and then up, and up again. And then we have to head back through the maze, so we'll go north, and east, south, and north. and up to the smelly room, south to the shaft room and this is where we have our basket with the diamond and the torch that uh, we raised from below. So once again we'll have to type in get diamond and torch and we'll get those items out of the basket. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much that part of the game done. What we're going to do now is drop uh, the lantern. We won't need that anymore throughout the game. Uh, we will have the torch to provide light in the areas where there might be grooves uh, menacing our health. And uh, then we can uh, continue west, back through the bat room, and then south to the squeaky room. Heading east out of the mine. And then we'll head south to the slide room. So we're going to take the slide down. And this is a shortcut to the cellar. And uh, when we're in the cellar, of course, we can get back to the living room. So we need to press up through the trapdoor. And uh, into the living room where we can put our new treasures into the trophy case. Now, we're going to need the torch, uh, obviously, for uh, later in the game. So I always put in, uh, put all treasures in case and then get torch just because it's slightly shorter than put all treasures except torch in case, which is uh, the alternative way of doing it. Now, once we've got the torch back, uh, let's head back out to the, or back down, I should say, through the trapdoor to the Great Underground Empire. So we head down and then north through the troll room. These areas we've been through before, we're heading east and east again, and we're in the round room. Now, the next room is a new place we haven't been before, which is east, and that is the loud room. It's a large room with a ceiling which cannot be detected from the ground. The room is definitely, definitely loud with an undetermined rushing sound. The sound seems to reverberate from all of the walls, making it difficult even to think. On the ground is a large platinum bar. Now, what's interesting about this room, as you can see, if I type in any word in here, it will actually be repeated. So we've typed in hello, and you get hello, hello. And uh, just struggling here to type my own name here. Slippery Jim. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, my fingers are all thumbs now. Been, uh, been playing this game too long. Slippery Jim was here. If we enter that in the loud room, we just get here, here. So obviously you get the idea. What we're getting is an echo. And if you actually type in echo, it solves the puzzle. And the uh, acoustics of the room change subtly. So that allows you then to pick up the large platinum bar and add that to our treasures. So get bar. Alright, so uh, let's continue on with our adventure heading west, and then uh, west again. 
And from this point, uh, we're going to go north, back to the chasm, and northeast to the reservoir south. So you may remember how we let all the water out of the dam before. So we're heading north, and now we're at the reservoir, which uh, used to be a large lake. And uh, there are now shores to the north and south, and lying half buried in the mud is an old trunk bulging with jewels. So underneath that lake, we can find another treasure. So we're going to get the trunk. And then uh, what we're going to do is uh, head to the north. And we're in the reservoir north. Now this is a large cavernous room which was formerly a lake, or south of what was formerly a lake. However, with the water level lowered, there's merely a wide stream running through. There is a slimy stairway leaving the room to the north and a handheld air pump. So we'll come back to the pump later, we'll head north and we're in the Atlantis room. This is an ancient room long underwater. There's an exit to the south and a staircase leading up on the shore lies Poseidon's own crystal trident. So we'll get Poseidon's trident here, get trident, uh, that's another treasure that we'll collect. Now we're going to head south, and then south again, south again, and southwest to the chasm. From here we'll head southwest again, and uh, then we'll head west. Uh, back to the troll room, and we're heading back south, uh, and then we'll head up to the living room once again. So we've collected a couple of treasures here, and uh, we'll need to put those in the case so that we can free up spots in our inventory for other items we'll need shortly. So we'll put all treasures in case, then we'll get the torch back out again. Uh, we'll still need that for the last part of our amazing adventure in the great underground empire. Now for the final part of the game, to see how it ends, please watch part four of uh, Zork on Black Ops. For now, thanks for watching.